Hi guys, this is lesson number 45 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about object position and page coordinates. Though we have more effective control under object menu, you can see that if I will click on object, here we have align and distribute option. And these are the option frequently you will be using in Coral Draw to align your object. But still it is important since you are graphic designer and Coral Draw user, it is important for you to know about object position and page coordinate functionality. Also we will discuss how to customize our page size according to our specific needs. So let's get started. As you can see in my screen I have few images. This flower image it is aligned from the four corners. We have background image and one image it is clipped inside chamfer rectangular box. To align perfectly corner to corner and center the image it's very easy by using page coordinate and object position. So let's get started. First of all we are going to import the images. We will go to the file, import and this is the flower here I have. I can import by pressing control key you can select the multiple images. This is what we need. and the third image we have here. Import. Let's move all of them out from the page area. And here is the first image. But before we crop this image we can resize our page. If you want to resize your page you need to click in the page. And you can see that here we have page property. In this area it shows the unit currently our active units are centimeter and uh, here we have size it is 27 by 21 it is custom size I have given previously but in your case it might be letter size and if you want to customize your page you can type your own values and these are the default setting you can see that here we have size in inches if I want I can click it and choose my desired measurement units. I am going to choose centimeter and in centimeter it shows here size 27.9 by 21.5. So if I want to make my own size simply I will type here my desired value. Let's say I want 26 by 20. Hit enter. So you can see that our page it has been resized and now our size is exactly 26 by 20 centimeter. As you can see here we have image. This image if I want to fit with the specific size or if I want to crop the particular area we can create rectangular shape with our desired size and we can crop this image accordingly. We are going to make one rectangular shape. Actually it is a square box. Click and drag to draw a square. Once the object is selected we can resize here. So the first thing what we need to do we need to unlock this here. Okay. Because if it is locked one side I will change the other will be proportionally changed. So you cannot uh, add both sides your desired size. So we will unlock this. So independently we can change horizontally and vertically our object size. So unlock here and now type 5. Click in the other field and type also 5 and hit enter. You can see that now we have square 5 by 5 centimeter. And this is the size I want to crop this image. we can reduce little bit our picture our image all right so this is the area we want to crop you need to select the image make sure that under view snap to and object snap is active it is because we need to snap the corner of this square box while the object is selected go to the crop tool and simply crop this way from this corner to this corner or this square and double click inside or just click on crop here. So you can see that our image has been cropped perfectly 5 by 5 centimeter. Click on pick tool and move it. Now we don't need any more this square shape we can delete. So now this image we are going to align corner to corner using page coordinate. Let's bring it out here. Once the object in Coral Draw it is selected 
you can see the transform control around we have small square box points and these eight points presented by this small transform box at the most left side you can see that and center point it is selected for now actually this transform box this small transform box it is presenting the transformation control around your selected object okay so if i will click on any of the point here let's say i will click here at the bottom you can see that this point is selected what does it mean our object is ready to move from this point okay and in front of this here we have x and y you can see that here is some value in x and y this is presenting our object position where our object is located in our page x and y zero value is on the most left corner you can see that this corner here this is our x and y coordinate origin so once the object is selected and you can see that this corner is selected it means i am going to align my selected object to my coordinate origin that is zero here i will type the value zero from x and zero from y press enter key you can see that our object move to the most left bottom corner and it is exactly placed in the corner x is left to right you can see that this is x coordinate and y is forward and back this one this is y and this is x and any value you will type here in x and y object will move accordingly in your page so now over this object it is on zero position if i want to move this object to the most right side i will duplicate it while it is selected i will press plus key now in the same place we have two you can see that so this selected object i want to move to this side so our object it will move with the page size now our page size if i will click on the page you can see that this is x this way and it is 26 and this is y this is 20 so i want to move from x axis 26 so here is our x axis value but before we move we will click on this point here this side okay from this corner we want to move the whole object 26 to the right so while it is selected i will type in x value 26 and hit enter you can see that our object is located to the most right side same thing if i will select both of them and duplicate press plus key so we have two additional object there and i want to move to these corners so now our page size vertically it is 20 so if i will select both of them okay and i will select corner this side or this side it's okay now our both objects are selected and you can see that here upper corner is selected so it means we are going to move from this corner so this direction is presented by this y axis and our page size this way is 20 so i will move 20 and press enter so you can see that our object is placed in upper both corner so this way we align four object in our page using object position and page coordinate now you can see that here we have image and i want to increase the size with the page coordinates perfectly if i want to place this image in the middle it is possible we can do that but you can see that once the object is selected we have control around and we have midpoint but in our page we don't have any more midpoint vertically and horizontally okay we have only corners so if i want to move my image vertically or horizontally to the center of the page we need to click on the page and you can see that this is x axis and our size is 26 half of the 26 is 13 so i will select my image and from the center point i want to bring it in the middle here so we will select the center from our object you can see that this is the center and simply through x axis i will type my value here half of the page is 13 that is the midpoint so i will type here 13 and press enter so you can see that horizontally our object is moved exactly in the center of the page now if i want to align vertically i will select this point okay so this will be my object origin to move vertically and simply i will type here value our page vertically it is 20 so half of the way it is 10 so i will type here value and press enter our image is perfectly aligned in our page now the last thing is our background we will select the background and just resize 
snap it all right and send it back object order to back of the page so you can see that this is how we have a background now if i want to clip this image inside some specific shape i can create i can draw a rectangular shape using a rectangle tool click and drag okay so we have a rectangular box here if i want to align this in the center of the page same thing while it is selected vertically i will select this and i will type 10 half of the size of our page and press enter so vertically it is aligned now horizontally if i want to align i will select this point and type the value here 13 because that is half of the x axis and press enter now if i want to apply the chamfer to the corner here we have option we can add any value but you need to make it sure that it is lock now our chamfer box this button is active and i will type here value let's say 0.3 it's really small maybe two okay so our chamfer it is applied from the side and if i want to clip this image inside click outside select the image go to the object power clip place inside frame and simply click inside okay so the image has been clipped now if i want to resize it i can hold it from the corner by pressing shift key from all the side it will be resized this way and side to side if i want to stretch a little bit to align okay this way we can do now if i want to apply the outline here we have option we can click and choose our desired size let's say eight okay so it is applied now the color it is not matching with our corner so here we have outline color so double click click here click on this drop down arrow outline color and choose your eyedropper i can select any color from these swatches but i want to add color from our image from our document so i will click on eyedropper and simply choose any color let's say i want to select dark maroon so i will click it so you can see outline color now it is according to the corner image background so click ok so this is how we use the object position and page coordinate to align and place our object perfectly we also learn how to resize our page how to crop object with a specific size you can use your desired images and try to practice this guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you